welcome back. I'm Jana with Pearl Together. In this week's video, we're gonna finish up our After the Rain sweater knit along. I can't wait to see all the pictures in the Finished Object thread of the Ravelry group. Feel free to post them also on Finished Object Friday in the Facebook group. So I'm really looking forward to doing that. Now I have finished one of my sweaters, the one I finished for my daughter. I'm still working on mine, but that's all right. I was really pleased with how this turned out. She's happy with it. So watch my Instagram. I'll post some pictures of her wearing it later this week, probably. So I'm going to show you how I chose to weave in the ends, kind of my standard technique, and then I'll block it. Blocking super simple. You just give it a little soak in the kitchen sink with some uh, wool wash or just one drop of really mild dishwashing detergent works really well too. Let it soak for a good 15 or 20 minutes and then lay it out flat. Super simple. If you want a little bit more detailed instructions than that, I do have a blocking video, which I'll put down in the link below in the video description. Be sure to check that. Also, before we get started with weaving in the ends, I want to give a big shout out and a public thank you to 11 new patrons in the last few weeks. So thank you so much for supporting the channel. This is how these videos keep coming to you each and every week is by patrons generously donating a few dollars each month. And then in a, as a thank you for that, I offer some benefits. So go over to patreon.com forward slash pearl together and you can check out what those benefits are. But a big hearty thank you to Diane, Ursula, Randy, Karen, Kay, Bethany, Audrey, Sherry, Janet, Tanya, and Yvette. Thanks so much, so much for joining the Pearl Together Patreon family. I certainly appreciate it. All right, let's get started with weaving in all those ends. Okay, I've got a darning needle here, tapestry needle. I always forget which is which. But anyway, this is a blunt needle with a curved tip. And then I also have a sharper needle um, that has a you know very sharp tip. And I just use this. I'll show you how I use this one as well. So the first thing I'm going to do on the underarm, I've turned the sweater inside out. And I still have this little hole right here where that's where I just picked up the stitches um, under the sleeves or when I attach the sleeves. And I have a little bit of a hole there, so I'm just going to sew that up. So I'm just going to go up in, weave this in and out, and I'm just going to kind of snug up that, that hole a little bit by going in and out, following the same kind of pattern that we would use weaving up and down for a knit stitch. Um, yeah, I just kind of wing it, honestly. And I just kind of want to close that that hole. Okay, so after I've done that a couple of times and, and filled that in, then I'm going to show you how I go about weaving in my ends. So I'm going to do a duplicate stitch here. Let me get myself centered. I'm going to do a duplicate stitch here where I'm going to go up and I'm going to follow this around here, underneath and around, and I'm just going to duplicate the path that this yarn would take. And I'm going to follow what's already there. So now I'm going to follow this bit right here, and I'm going to go down into this stitch. I'm going to continue following that strand down underneath that gray pearl bump. And then you can see where it goes underneath right here. So I'm going to follow that along and go up through both of those pearl bumps, the gray one and the white one. And I'm going to just keep doing that same thing following where that strand goes. And I'm just going to do that a few times. It's not, it's not going to be significant. And then when I'm finished, let's see, have I gone in the wrong spot? Maybe I did go in the wrong place on that one. I did. I did. I should have gone over one. There we go. Under that gray pearl bump. Okay, and then up through this one and this one. So I'm just going to do that a couple of two, three times. Then I'm going to switch to the sharp needle. And I'm going to weave in this end intentionally splitting strands of yarn. Okay, so now I'm just, after I've done the duplicate stitch a couple of times, I'm going to intentionally take this sharp needle 
and run it straight up through these purl bumps, intentionally splitting that yarn with the sharp end of this needle. There we go. Okay, now that's gonna be perfectly invisible from the other side. I'm gonna trim that close, and let's take a look. Let's take a look at where that is. Yep, there we go, much better. Okay, I'm gonna continue on doing that. I'll show it to you one more time. I'm gonna continue on, there's my sleeve. I think all of those are woven in already. Um, let's go ahead and do, let's go ahead and do this one, this gray one. So I'm again, I'm gonna start with the more blunt needle and I'm gonna do some duplicate stitch. Let me take a moment here and just uh, orient myself where I wanna go with this. So I'm gonna go underneath the white pearl bump and then the gray one, okay. Then I'm gonna go around the top following where that gray yarn goes. And then back up through the white one and the gray one. Following this around, under the gray one, under the white one. Okay. Same thing. Okay, now I'm gonna put this gray yarn on my sharp needle. And again, I'm just gonna intentionally split a couple of those stitches. I'm just gonna do three or four of those pearl bumps and then trim that off. Okay, whoops. Okay, good. I am gonna go finish the rest of my ends, doing all my ends. I probably have about half a dozen more to do, including the ones here at the collar. And I'll show you what my sweater looks like when it's done. I sure hope you've enjoyed this knit along. It's been a really fun one. I just need to finish up my sweater, but I'm happy I got one done at least. <laughs> so watch my Instagram if you're curious to see how mine's coming along and what it's gonna look like in the end. And I would really love to see all of yours. Post pictures in the Ravelry group, the finished object thread, if you're interested in being entered for the giveaway. You have until the end of July to finish up your sweaters and be entered in that giveaway. So still two and a half weeks, two weeks. Yeah. So get it knitting on those. And then watch the channel coming up. We're going to have a podcast that's going to announce what we're doing in August. All right. Thanks so much for watching.